Hello, welcome to Promixing and Mastering Hashtag I Stand with the Ukrainians. All right, today I'm going to show you five ways to mix harmonies or background vocals. You guys requested for, for this, so I'm just going to do it for you. This is the part that you guys requested of how I mix these harmonies right on this part. I'm walking in this hour, I'm walking it. The first one, which is this one right here, is connected to track number two. And track number two is this one right here, my harmonies. Smoking in this hour. So these are the ones right here. And each vocal is routed to track number two on the mixer. So this one two is on two, track two. This one also, so all all of my backings are routed to track number two this one is one and this one is number two i just renamed it so what i did with the first one was this i panned it just come to pan this one right here and pan it all the way to 50 this one is spanned to 50 right hard right and then the other one is spanned to 50 hard left all right so you just have to pan them why panning panning helps your vocals to to be widened up and also to like create space for the rest of the vocals they just sound harmonies or background vocals just sound nice when you pan them so if you haven't been panning i'll start panning your background vocals and the other thing that i want to uh, I, I want you guys to know is that you have to record in mono background vocals really sound great when you record them in mono as you can see all all of my backings uh including my lead vox are recorded in, mo in mono so mono really gives you that advantage of panning vocals left right uh 35 15 and all that then i have so let me let me play this oh all right oh. so this is like a smooth you want to get your harmonies sounding smooth and very soon i'm going to explain to you what i did to make them smooth then this one too oh. this one is my left and this one is my right uh right and left so let me play them now oh. Oh. so they have that suki you know uh sounding uh effect to them and i'm gonna explain then we have these oh. the lower ones so you have to record the higher uh, harmonies like these ones are higher oh, oh, then, oh, you, then you have the lower ones these ones oh, these ones are lower oh, oh, and both of these one is spanned to uh right which is uh 35 right and the other one is spanned to 35 left panning so the secret is all about panning make sure the second harmony that you record to has to be panned exactly uh to the same number that you panned like this one is panned to the same number as this one though the only difference is that one is spanned to the left one is spanned to the right but the dbs are the same so you have those you have these ones the lower ones and we have these ones this this is what you do uh, this uh, one. a little bit uh, slightly higher uh, you know uh forgive me so uh, so you have that one uh, all right this one is band to 52 left tower, tower. and then you have this one as well uh, really really low oh uh, you know uh, so this one is uh put on the middle being the ba a busy one so it's like you have to put it on the middle so you can have something like this all right now going to the plugins this is what i put on the harmonies the first thing is auto tune artist all right you can use an auto tune that you have it's really it's really gonna work i'm using auto tune artist and my rhythm speed is really set to fast because i want my harmonies to be smooth so once you have like set up your auto tune the right key and also scale uh eqing and eqing is different because with the background or harmonies you have to lift up the you have to open them up a little bit or add a top end or you know lift up the high shelf so your backings can have air so all the backing vocals uh, are supposed to have some air to them they are not like lead vocals where 
you know they are you, you are expected to add a little bit of uh, low end to them around ten thousand. That's the area you like can open up your uh, and add air. This is the the place for presence. So as you can like take a listen, my backings, my harmonies have presence to to them. Oh, 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 oh. So there is that presence. So there is there is a lot of presence to them, and this is caused by lifting up all this from their CLA two A. This is a beautiful plugin when it comes to you know uh, uh, mixing harmonies. This has its own saturation and top end uh, built into it. So if you want to have that you know beautiful harmony effect this is a go-to plugin cla2a your threshold take it up and this is like your gain your volume i mean you increase the volume and basically this is what it does adds that beautiful harmony effect i have a little bit of the s in just a little and literally doing nothing i can even take it out because they don't have s's but i just uh uh, through it there just to add a little bit of that there is just that effect which these uh, uh comes with so i just wanted wanted it to be to be there what you do is route your harmonies to uh a reverb so this is routed to reverb and i'm using uh this reverb right here to just put to just uh add space to the harmonies like this uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there is that space added to them and that space is caused by a reverb so just add reverb to your uh backing vocals your harmonies and your harmonies are just gonna sound uh great so guys this is how i like work on the harmonies of the background vocals and i hope this video has helped you don't forget to like and subscribe I will, I will.